Welcome back to another edition of Trogley's Guitars. Well, I got a very special one today. This one comes from 1976. It comes with the original case here, and I, I do want to take a minute to go over the case here. This is a Tobacco Burst SG. The, the guitar is in phenomenal condition, and even the original case, it just looks like this guitar was lightly played over the years. It does have some light play wear, but this case is very clean. The cleanest one I've ever seen from the 70s. You have the uh, four latches there. And there she is in all of her glory. Once again, this is a 1976 Gibson SG standard. Now, I would not go as far as saying this example is mint. However, if you're looking for that very clean look with just some light wear, I think you'll be very happy with this one. You do have the case key if you wanted to lock it in there. Overall, I mean, not the best case in the world, but, you know, if you're collecting this, this is definitely a huge bonus, the original case in excellent condition. All right. Let's go to our usual look here. Gorgeous tobacco burst sun burst finish here. This finish is relatively rare, and you see this color go for a huge premium. So let's take a look at the condition to see if this one's right for you. Now, the uh, headstock has aged. It's It was probably played in a slightly smoky environment. However, I do not get any real foul, smoky odors from the guitar. So I guess it's possible it also could have just been in the sunlight, like as a display piece. As you can see there, with the light, no super deep scratches or anything. Uh, frets here. Just the very slightest amount of wear. Nothing too bad. Nothing that needs addressed. However, they are very flat. I mean, almost non-existent. So I believe it was played a lot, but just taken very good care of. So if you're looking to make this your new gigging guitar, and you're used to more modern frets, I would probably suggest refretting this one. As a, by the looks of it, this one has the frets have been worked on quite a bit and you can see kind of up here where the uh, nibs have been filed away slightly I mean in person you can still see that they are there so it wasn't already refretted like there's a little bit of a nib there I think it was when they were doing the filing of the frets that you might have lost some of the nibs, but you can see they're still there for the most part, especially on the uh, treble side of the guitar. Once again, very clean condition. Looks like you have maybe just a slight little mark there. You have the aging of the speed knobs here. Looks like you have a uh, small, very small ding right there. Some light scratches on the pick card there. That appears much worse in the camera than it actually does in person. You have some light finish checking on this guitar in some areas as well. I think the major flaw is this light scratch right here. 
Then you have finish checking right there. It might actually be finish checking. It might buff out. I'm not 100% sure on that one. But that's what I consider the biggest flaw of this guitar, keeping it from, you know, being a higher grade. But it's got tobacco burst on the sides, on the neck, and even the side of the headstock there. That's cool. A lot different than the uh, cherry standards. There's the uh, back of the guitar here. As you can see, you have a finish checking line right there, as well as some stemming from back there. But, there's that one little ding right there, and some light polishing scratches. You might be able to buff those out, they're not deep or anything. No super belt buckle rash or anything. Here's your serial number. SG standard made in USA 00150445 that means it was made in 1976 you do have some finish checking stemming from the uh, screw holes mainly but no cracks breaks or repairs or anything once again that's just a finish check line right there as you have a few more up and down the neck here. So there you have it. If you're looking for a really cool piece to add to your collection, I, I would say honestly this is a very nice one. If you're looking strictly to play this one professionally, I would suggest a refret. However, if you're just going to play casually at home, I think you'll be doing just fine. Thank you for watching, and as always, you can visit my Facebook page, facebook.com slash troglies, T-R-O-G-L-Y-S. That's where you can shoot me your best offer, and we can see where we can go from there. Thank you. Bye.